This is going to be a video on swapping out the friction clutch on a Spider Jack 3. It's for DDRT MRS. It's a fantastic system. Um, it does have some drawbacks. We're not going to go into that. Today's video is just going to be the disassembly of the friction clutch system and swapping out one of these components. The reason we have to do this with the spider jack is because I am going to start using it with a Samson Arbormaster BRW rope and that is about a 12 millimeter rope so the friction clutch that is required spider jack would recommend Bravo okay so spider jack provides or art I should say provides spare components when you buy a spider jack three and it comes with a couple of allen wrenches and then another one of these wear components and then uh two more sizes of friction clutches and it comes pre-installed with the a friction clutch all right so the first step is going to be getting that out turn the eye attachment side uh, face up and we're going to look and locate this little recessed hole and we're going to put an allen wrench in there okay it's going to be the smaller allen wrench we're going to take that out okay set it aside and now we're able to remove this this handle which is part of the braking system turn the spider jack so that we can see this locking system right here. This is a little uh, push pin lock. It locks the brake on in certain applications that you want that. Okay, what we wanna do is push this forward, push it down to come into the normal lock position, but also now we're gonna push it even further and pull it completely out. And that will expose these screws that we can now get to. We want to take out this one right here. Break that loose and back it on out. Okay, now it's a shallow little guy. We're gonna set that one aside. All right, now that we have that screw out, we can turn it over and use an Allen wrench to push this pin out from this side. And you'll see that that friction clutch just comes right on out, okay? We've removed the friction clutch. Now we're going to put in the new one. You want this beveled part to be facing up along with the eye connector. Okay, so we're going to insert it into the system like this. Then we are going to take this pin again and the narrow side goes in first. All right. Make sure that that is seated in there. And then it's just a matter of putting the screw back. Okay, you wanna be careful not to over tighten this. It has like a little rubber O-ring on it. You know, it's not gonna really back out on its own anyway. Plus it's trapped behind this sheave. Just don't over tighten it, but I, I do get it to it stops. Once it stops, I'm good. We're gonna reset this assembly back into the sheave. To do that, we're just gonna push back down on that locking mechanism and it goes to there. And um, you can push it again and we're back to where we started. Going now put this, this uh, handle back in these two little holes. The pins of the handle go in facing this way. And now we can put this little um, set screw in there. Right. Again, this one's with the smaller. And once again, just we're just doing it until we hit a dead stop. We're not over tightening this. And that's it. That's swapping out a friction clutch on the spider jack. Now I'm going to show how to load the rope correctly. Loading the Spider Jack 3 is pretty easy. All it is is going in between the wooden thumb brake and 
your friction clutch. There's a nice chamber that the rope will fit through and it'll pull through very easily. And then remembering to get into that fair lead pulley, you wanna go in between this little uh, this stopping pin here and the fair lead pulley. And you gotta load from the bottom of your rope, okay? Then you pull the entire length through until your eye is at the top. All right, so there we've pulled our entire rope through. I see the eye won't pass through there, so that's why you gotta feed from the bottom. Sort of is inconvenient when you wanna swap ropes. This isn't something that you do like on the job usually. I'm sorry, I would not swap between this device and the zigzag like in the middle of, of a climb, you know, like kind of just have to leave this spider jack on a designated rope and leave the zigzag on a rope. That's kind of how they are. But anyway, then you put your carabiners. This one attaches to the eye, goes around your anchor and attaches to the eye. And then the swivel carabiner um, attaches to your harness rope bridge. And that's it. Similar to the zigzag, but a totally different feel. I mean, just very different feel. So like I said, I need to make a comparison video between these two devices, but all right. Hope that was informative. Be blessed.